It's Isaac Draxler. Thanks for listening to the Aggie Up podcast. Just wanted to put out a quick podcast um, for everybody. Uh, remind them that uh, you can listen to the Primetime podcast uh, that I was on earlier today. Uh, or I dropped earlier today. We actually recorded it last night. Uh, it's called the Primetime Podcast with Charles... Uh, what's his last name? Primetime Podcast with Charles Reese. It's uh, on Twitter. It's at primetime underscore pod. So go check that out. Uh, the part that w- you know did not include me is a really good breakdown of the um, the LSU uh, defense, offense, uh, kind of previewing uh, what they expect to see from Utah State, and definitely gave some uh, some kind words to uh, Jordan Love and the Aggies in general. I think. Um, you know the 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 guys that do that podcast they they they're not really giving the Aggies much of a chance as far as keeping it close or anything like that. And I would, um, I mean, I guess I go back and forth. Um, you know, uh, you can only score so many points, and I think you know maybe the Aggies will be able to to kind of keep up or at least have some success. But um, I think it's going to take some. Uh, some exceptional plays, um, not just uh, a good quarterback and good offense to uh, to keep it really close and, and obviously come out with a with a victory. But I do keep going back and forth um, as far as you know. The more I watch this LSU defense, the more I think um, they are susceptible uh, to uh, to some some points. Uh, Vanderbilt put put up some points on them. Um, Texas obviously put up a bunch of points, um, so I think this LSU defense has the potential to uh, to give up some points to the Aggies, and hopefully the Aggie defense can also come up with some uh, some turnovers and some stops of their own, uh, because Joe Burrow is a really really good quarterback, um, just a just a stud um, for LSU, and, and probably the best quarterback. LSU's had for a long, long time, and they've definitely, you know, revamped their uh, their offense to uh, to kind of match that that skill. And not really a running quarterback, but um, but definitely spreading it out more and, and being a high powered uh, offense for sure. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to be really fun. Um, if you follow Aggie up on Twitter, you State Aggies uh, on Twitter. Um, definitely check out the, uh, the, those feeds, uh, this, this weekend on Saturday morning, uh, because we're going to be in, uh, Baton Rouge. We're going to be at the game, um, probably do a, uh, a live shot, maybe even a live podcast from the, uh, the stadium, which would be fun and, uh, some different things like that. So really looking forward to that. Uh, some awesome pictures, uh, from uh, Big Al Bornholt um, on Twitter, uh, so check those out. Uh, you know they they may not be uh, you know real time or anything, but look for those in the future. So he had some awesome pictures from Colorado State, you know, and is going to have some awesome pictures from LSU. Um, uh, it's really interesting. I think the other kind of interesting factor. Is the uh, is the Aggies if they can come out and and punch LSU in the mouth maybe maybe put together some uh, some big plays. Uh, it's such an early game that that potentially could uh, could hurt LSU. It could also hurt uh, Utah State. Obviously, being a super early early game and and depending on how how long Utah State is uh, is down there and uh, and, and the kind of uh, you know night sleep and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's going to be a little bit weird to have such an early Saturday morning game for everybody. So maybe, maybe it'll, uh, maybe that'll give the, uh, the Aggies a little bit of a chance. So, um, so that's basically what I wanted to cover. Definitely check out, uh, the, the website, you state And, uh, hopefully we'll put out a couple more Aggie up podcasts. Tune into that primetime po- uh, podcast uh, with Charles Reese. Really good, really good stuff on there. I think um, those guys that, that were on before they had me on, um, 
you know, they're not just your typical uh, homers that, that are just saying how much better, only saying how much better, you know, the athletes are and Utah State has no chance. They're really, um, you know, really well informed on uh, on how good some of the uh, some of the players are at Utah State. So, give that a listen. Um, hit me up on uh, Twitter. Let me know if I'm crazy going back and forth and thinking maybe the Aggies have a, have a chance in this game because because I think um, you know. I think the uh, if, if the same defense that comes out uh, that was playing against Vanderbilt and some of these other games, I think uh, the Aggies can score on this LSU defense unless something really changes uh, that I don't don't know about. And um, and really, um, Utah State has the potential. You know, maybe if they play the right schemes on defense, maybe they can slow them down a little bit as far as keep keeping them in front of them at least you know making tackles and not giving up the big play but at the same time that all that means is maybe they'll go down on a 12 play drive instead of a three play drive you know so who knows we'll see saturday's gonna be fun uh tune in uh for that we'll definitely have some uh some content coming your way thanks